hi everyone i come back with another tutorial so this is question four from tutorial sheet uh two msm one 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 so please kindly subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out the videos that i'm going to be posting so our question here is uh uh saying uh for each given function find f inverse and verify that uh f of f inverse of x is equal to x so what i'm going to do to these questions i'm not going to answer all of them i think i'll just pick two yeah i'll just pick two uh if i if i'll see if i'll manage to answer all of them yeah even better but i, I think i'm just going to pick two or just one uh, i'll show you how to solve it and after solving that i know you're going to know how to solve the remaining uh the remaining ones that i'm going to leave all right so we quickly proceed yeah so here our question is uh for each function find f inverse and verify that f of inverse of x is equal to x and f inverse of f of x is equal to x so i think let me pick this one i'll pick the first question here and then I will leave these two questions. So I'm leaving them so that you can uh, you can do it. You can answer them and then submit your work. Once you answer them, you can send your work on my email. My email is just in the description there. When you check under this video, there is a part which says description. Yeah, you check there. There is my email there. You can you can just do it. You can you, you you can just solve them on the separate paper. You scan them or you take pictures of them and then send to my email. I'll reply to you. I'll tell you whether it's correct or wrong. So uh, I'll solve this one. So this one is saying. Uh, so I'm going to explain everything so that it even becomes easier for you to solve the remaining ones. So this one here we've been told to find f inverse of x. That's our first question. So we are answering question A. And then to find f, of, f inverse of x, we first have to equate this given function to y. Like we were doing in the previous question, which is question 3. You equate this first to, to y. And then, so, so this question is 2. And then we have x minus 1 yeah so we find the inverse of this question i mean of this function so the inverse of this function is going to be you make um uh, you make you you make x the subject so when you multiply this y times x you cross multiply they are going to have x y uh minus y is equal to two so you, when you make x the subject of the formula there you have uh, so you're going to have oh, x is equal to this is 2 plus y 2 plus y over y so meaning our f inverse of x so our f inverse of x is equal to anyway let me just i think i'll just solve all of them yeah i think i have time i'm going to solve all of them don't worry so f inverse of x is now giving us 2 plus x over x so this is our f inverse of x so now if this is our f inverse of x let us now try to verify that this is true and that is true so how do we verify that um we first start with this one so f of f inverse so we put this in brackets and then x outside we put it in brackets is equal to so meaning in this function f what is x we replace with um f f inverse of x so in this function which is 2 then over where there is x there i'm going to put this function so where there is x i'm putting 2 plus x over 
x and then we have minus one like that so over one so here we can we can uh, simplify this fraction so we're going to have something like this two over uh, this when you find the common denominator there the common denominator is x then the numerator there will be 2 plus x minus x the numerator will be 2 plus x minus x yeah so just by looking here you can see that this x minus x is equal to 0 so I'm just going to remain with 2 over 2 over x like this we're going to have something like this so this part there this part here you can see it's just the same as writing uh, it's just the same as writing as 2 uh, divided by 2 over x which is just the same as when you remember high school this is just the same as 2 times x over 2 so these 2 and that 2 cancel we're just going to remain with x hence we have verified that this function is giving us x so this is how simple these things are very simple and straightforward let us also try to verify this part we verify that part so we find uh, or oh, we already have this f inverse of x so meaning in this f inverse of x let me write it this way so in this f inverse of x uh, sorry this f inverse of x we are going to replace where there is x with f yeah so this is how it is going to be so where there is f while there's x in f inverse we replace with f while there's f i mean while there's x in f inverse in the f inverse f inverse is this one so while there's x we're going to put f so i have 2 plus while there's x we put f our f is 2 over x minus 1 2 over x minus 1 then everything o everything over uh, where this x we put 2 over x minus 1 so how do we simplify this we find the common denominator there so the numerators will be 2x minus 1 oh sorry 2x minus 2 plus 2 yeah so here I'm just doing the normal way you solve fractions you can do it on the separate paper 2x minus 2 plus 2 over x minus 1 so our common denominator there was x minus 1 then we write this division right sorry division line and then here we can write that which is 2 over x minus 1 like that so when we simplify the numerator there you can see that this negative 2 plus 2 will cancel so just remaining with 2x over x minus 1 then divide by here we have 2 over x uh, minus 1 okay so here mathematically those that know mathematics very well uh, this x minus 1 and that x minus 1 can cancel 
but for the sake of everyone to understand we we'll write them the way it's supposed to be the way they're supposed to be so this is 2x over x minus 1 so this is going to be times when we're dividing these two we can also say we're multiplying this by the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator which is x minus 1 Wow, what is happening? Okay, x minus 1 over uh, 2. So you can see that that and that will cancel. So meaning we'll just remain with 2x over 2. Two x over two. So if we get two x over two, two in two two x divided by two, you get x. So this me this means that we have also managed to verify that this is true. It give it's giving us x. All right. Let me just skip this one and do the last question there. Because this one, if you can do the one, this one here, which I've done, meaning even this one, you can do it because they are all fractions. So let me do this one, which is just linear straight. Okay. So we find F inverse from this question. So to find F inverse, you equate the given expression to what? To Y. So for X minus 8, you equate it to Y. Then you make x the subject of the formula there. So it's going to be y plus 8 over 4. I'm sure here no one no one is doing what no one has gotten lost. Everyone were on the same page. I've just made x the subject of the formula. So meaning my inverse function will now be equal to so my inverse function will now be equal to x what well, is why i just put x then over four all right so if this is my inverse function if this is my inverse function um it, it, this uh simply means that um, if this is my inverse function this simply means that uh i i'll, I'll now start proving yeah, so I've I've start, I've answered this question here. I've answered the first part of this question. Let me just also answer this second and the last question, just last part of the question. So I'm just remaining to verify now. I'm just remaining to verify. Okay, so to find f of f inverse of x to find f of f inverse of x uh, you you replace in f where there's x you put in f in this f where there's x you put a, the inverse function so we're going to have 4 where there's x we're going to put uh, so where there's x we're going to put x plus 8 over 4 and then and then we write our minus 8 that side so this is what we're going to have 4x plus this is 24 then minus 8 is over 4 so we find the common denominator there we're going to have our common denominator 4 then on top there the numerator will be 4x then plus 24 then negative 4 times 8 there or rather we say 1 into 4 is 1, one I mean 1 into 4 is 4, 4 times 8, 
um, sorry, 4 times 8 they are supposed to give us 32, not 24. Okay. 4 times 8 is supposed to give us 32 and not 24. Alright, so another 4 times 8 there gives us 32. Okay, so you can see that this 32 minus 32 will cancel, meaning we're just going to remain with 4 over 4. I mean 4x over 4, which will therefore give us x. So this is the solution. This is the solution for the first part there. We can also now solve the second part. So the second part which says f inverse of f f inverse of f of x this will give you well I mean this the way you solve it where there is um, x in f inverse you put uh, this 4x minus 8 so where there is x we put 4x minus 8 so this is the part where there is x in our inverse and then we say plus 8 then everything over 4 yeah so here what you do again you simplify this negative 8 and positive 8 they will cancel so meaning or oh, before i say they will cancel let me just write it the way it is so neg negative 8 uh plus 8 there you can agree with me that they will give you a zero so meaning you just remain with 4x over 4 which later gives you x as your answer yeah so this is uh basically how you answer these questions so for those that are that are going to be practicing and you feel you want to see whether i've gotten correct or wrong uh this question b here you can solve it and submit it using my email address and i'll tell you whether you are correct or wrong thank you very much for watching today's tutorial video please make sure that you don't forget to subscribe click on the button which says subscri subscribe just down the screen there all right see you in the next tutorial video shalom shalom